Hello everyone, welcome to the PDF Elements YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you for managing and editing your PDF documents on Android devices. But before we dive in, let me ask you a question. Have you ever found yourself in need of reviewing a document while away from home? Or signing a contract just before you board a flight? Being away from home or the office can sometimes catch you at an inconvenient time. Well, in this video, we will explore the incredible and portable version of PDF Element for Android. Let me share some professional tips with you so you can make the most of the new features that have been added in the latest update. Because working comfortably and efficiently is important no matter where you are. So let's get started. The PDF Element mobile app for Android is a valuable tool for those who need to access and work with PDF documents on the go. With this app, you will have the full power of PDF Element right in the palm of your hand. I think that sounds good to me. So how about we have a look at some of the great features and let's see how they work. Let's start by exploring the qualities of this version in terms of document visualization. Android is the most popular operating system for mobile devices, used in hundreds of different phones and tablet models on the market. This poses a major compatibility challenge because each tablet and phone has a specific screen size. So because of this, reading a document can be comfortable on one device, but not on another. But PDF Element is here to help with that little inconvenience. So to find the solution, you can find the View Settings button right there in the top right corner of your screen. Tapping on it will display a menu where you can adjust the font size of your document to make it easier to read. The difference between doing this and simply zooming in is that PDF Element will increase the size of the letters in your document, as well as aligning the paragraphs to fit your device's viewport. You'll also find options for customizing how you want to navigate through pages. Whether you prefer swiping horizontally, just like flipping the pages of a physical book, or vertically like you do on social media. The choice is yours. And that's not all. You will also have the ability to personalize the background color to optimize contrast and protect your eyes, which does come in handy during those marathon reading sessions. Picture this. You're on a trip and you're eager to make the most of your time by reading a fascinating scientific article. But wait, there's a problem. The document you have is split into two or more columns. Usually, this would make your reading a little frustrating if your device doesn't have a large enough screen to display entire pictures. But with PDF Element's liquid read mode, you won't have this problem. PDF Element will actually modify the structure of the content and reorganize it so that you can read it smoothly in a single column. And there's something even better. PDF Element introduced something really exciting, a vast collection of free books that you can access from any Android device. All you have to do is open the PDF Element app and go to the Books section. Here you will find dozens of books, so if you're interested in a specific one, you can use the search tool located in the upper right corner. This will actually bring up a window where you can see user ratings as well as a brief summary and a download button. The download only takes a few seconds and soon you'll be able to freely read the book whenever you want. Now let's take a look at one of the new features on the mobile version of PDF Element, Capture. Capture is a feature designed to help you take screenshots of what you're viewing on the screen. Unlike simply taking a normal screenshot, with this feature you'll get a clean image without any Android or PDF Element user interface elements visible. This means you won't have to crop the image to give your captures a polished professional look. If you're more interested in sharing a passage as a text quote through your messaging services or social media, I've good news for you. PDF Element has added a special feature for this. All you need to do is select the paragraph you want to share and tap on the share option. This will then bring up a window with two tabs. In the theme tab, you will find some pre-designed layout templates to make your post look great. By using the size tab, you'll be able to adjust the aspect ratio according to the social media platform you want to use. So that could be Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. And if you want to share a whole document with a friend, just go back to the document browsing view. Open the menu with the three dots on the right side of the document you want to share and tap on the share option. This will bring up two options. 
share by link, which allows you to create a link that you can share with anyone so they can view your document in their web browser. The second option, share by file, enables you to send the complete document through your preferred messaging service so that they can view it using the preferred software. Now let's take a quick look at the tools that will help you manage annotations and editing PDF documents. And thanks to PDF Element, you will always have these right at your fingertips. Let's start with Comment. This tool provides you with an easy environment for you to interact with your document, just like you would with a desktop PDF editor or even a physical paper document. By tapping on the Comment tool located within the plus menu, this will bring up a bar at the bottom of your screen. In this bar, you will find several annotation tools that you can use to highlight text, underline, or strike through sentences, and even add shapes or sticky notes. And PDF Element has taken the mobile version to the next level with its edit tool. With edit, you can easily edit the text of a PDF. This means that in those critical moments when you spot a last minute error, you can swiftly rectify it in a matter of seconds. If you thought that tool was helpful, you're going to love this signature tool. Signature is the ideal tool for those situations when you need to sign a digital document. The good thing is, is your device has a touch screen, which makes it super easy to create and personalize your signature. To get started, simply expand the plus menu and tap on the signature tool. Then select the option at the bottom right of the screen to access the window where you can create your signature. Once you've created your signature, you can place it wherever you want in the document with just a tap. Signing documents from your phone unlocks a whole new world of possibilities. If you're used to working with the desktop version of PDF Element, you will love combining its power with the Android version. Use your phone to sign documents and enjoy a comfortable paper-like experience with a digital pen. Before we delve into the most powerful feature of the Android version of PDF Element, let me tell you about one last document management tool that I personally consider a hidden gem. If you've ever received a scanned document, you've probably come across a landscape-oriented page that's naturally inconvenient to read. But don't worry, pages will make dealing with this situation a breeze. Simply expand the plus menu and tap on the pages tool. You'll see all of the pages of your document. If you come across a horizontally oriented page, just tap on it and then tap on the rotate option. But that's not all. Pages also offers an option to extract pages from the document. This is especially useful when you need to create a concise document for only key information or when you want to exclude unnecessary pages. And lastly, let me tell you, in my opinion, what is the best feature of PDF element for Android? The cloud storage syncing. As you open the PDF element app, you'll see the home tab where you'll find all the documents you've recently opened. If you go over to the file tab, you can navigate through the documents on your device, transfer files from your computer, or access your files stored in a cloud storage. Imagine you've been working on an important PDF, whether it's from the Windows or Mac version of PDF Element. You're soon going on a trip, so you decide to sync your document to the cloud. All you need to do now is open the PDF Element app on your phone or tablet, go to the file section and tap on the document cloud option. Your document will be there just as you left it when you left home. So instead of having to wait around at the airport to kill time, you can comfortably continue your work. And when you're done, you can save the changes to update the document in the cloud. You can even create a copy rename it and upload it to the cloud, ensuring you always have a backup of the original version. All of your documents at your fingertips with minimal effort. With PDF Element, tackling challenges when working with PDF documents is easier than ever. Its powerful ongoing updates provide us with an intuitive and user-friendly interface. 
offering versatile options to edit, annotate, highlight, and underline content on mobile devices. And the wide range of customization tools adapts to your preferences. If you've already enjoyed PDF Element on Windows or Mac, you will love this Android version. It really enhances the PDF Element workflow thanks to the cloud syncing feature. You can download PDF Element for free today and experience firsthand just how great this application is. It can really simplify your PDF management and optimize your time. If you've made it to the end of this video, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. That is, of course, if you want to see more tips and tricks of making your workflow easier using the PDF Element workspace. So try PDF Element today and I will see you next time.